Yeah, 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 it's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his opinions coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now today I want to talk, I, I, I'm be real, I'm just be real, let me be very candid with you guys. Uh, I don't care too much for this fight going on, but Keemstar did say that in the documentary he made, he would include some people's clips. So I'm, I, I'm going to talk about it, so... You got this Boogie, I think it's 2988. I think that's how you how you spell his name. And then you have this West. What was his fucking name, man? West. No. I don't know. But apparently they're like two really like morbidly obese guys who uh I guess people don't like. One of them like let me read the the, the, the summary from one of my uh from one of my subscribers. Let's see, Dave Wood is life. The comment disappeared. Oh, that's annoying. Well, anyways, let's see about this one. This comment disappeared too. That's super annoying. Anyways, uh, let's go here. And then, yeah, the comments are just gone. That's weird, isn't it? So, yeah. It's, uh, it said, Kim's on Twitter saying if someone comments on his tweet about Boogie and Wings, they can be in the documentary. Blah, 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 give it a try. And then, uh, yeah, someone said, Keem, blah, blah. Okay, so I'll talk about this. So y'all gonna get my prediction, I guess. This is not really, and here's a, the downside of this whole um, social media boxing thing when it comes to my channel is that when you have guys who never fought before, you literally don't know what to expect. And all you have to go on are the intangibles of their character, right? So unfortunately, I don't know too much. Like I know fuck all about uh, Boogie and I and, and and West Side Gun, whatever his name is. I don't know anything about them. Like really, like at all. I don't know shit, right? However, the one thing that I do know is that they're really, really fat. Like they're really, really big and out of shape. And they haven't done anything athletic, if not ever, in a very long time. And they're older guys. You could see someone throw up in the ring. You know what? In fact, I'd bet on that. I'd bet on one of them throwing up in the ring. Who doesn't fucking matter? It's going to be one of them. Secondly, someone's going to quit on the stool. They're not going to be able to keep going forward. Someone's going to quit. Who has a stronger will? Quite frankly, I don't know. And, 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 and I mean, I'm going to be real, guys. Uh, unless they were already on their weight loss journey, I, 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 I can't confidently say who has a stronger will. I think both of them have a minuscule will. If I'm being real, look at how they allowed themselves to end up being. Like, how do you get like that, bro? I remember I hit 218 pounds. I hit 200 fucking 18 pounds. I was like, damn, all right, I'm getting a little fat. It was getting bad, but I wasn't like that. And I had a scale. I was able to look at me being 200, and then you know what? I lost like 30 pounds. I ended up hitting like, it was actually a little bit more. It was closer to 40 pounds. I think it was like 36. So I think I hit like 184 or something like that. So I lost a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight is the point. Well, 30, 30 plus pounds. Before I could even get to the point where you're like this. How do you let yourself get like this? Well, clearly there's a lack of will. There's a lack of discipline and not caring pretty much about a lot of things in life, I'd say. That's the only way you could get there. And when I take those character uh, traits and then you put that in two guys who are in a boxing match, literally it's who's going to quit first. I don't see them lasting. What are they supposed to be going? Three, four rounds? I don't see them lasting that long. This has to be for money. Which I know they're not getting that much of. I mean, I'm sure they're getting some six figures. But I mean, come on, bro. Like, y'all ain't out here fighting for the millions. So, yeah, I, I think someone could die in that ring. And not in a funny way. Someone could die. Someone's going to have a fucking heart attack. And they could die in that fucking ring. And that's a legitimate, like, problem. Because they definitely have they definitely have heart problems with them being that fucking big. They're a little bit older. And... Boxing, fighting is a very tiring sport. I don't know the science behind why it is, but that shit is very, very tiring. I, it's like you're just using everything, 
right? You have to use your legs. You have to use different part, muscles and parts within your leg. Then you're using your core and different muscles within your core, using your arms, different muscles within there that you never use. And then it's cardio on top of that. And it's just, and then you're getting hit on top of hitting other people. And then you exerting force out sends a force back, which also puts a burden on your body. I spit a lot this video, by the way. I spit a lot. I don't know what's on what's going on with that. Maybe, maybe it's because I just brushed my teeth. I don't know. But uh yeah, I, I just I, I this fight, who would I go with? You know what? Because I know Boogie a little bit more. I'm probably gonna go with Boogie. You know, Boogie has more to lose. I think he knows that. He's like, man, these people know me. He probably thinks, man, I got all these people looking up to me. All these, all these I guess they're adults now. Uh his fans. All my fans look up to me and I can't let them down, right? So He's probably going to have a little bit more, a little bit more of that dog. And he ain't going to give up. He ain't going to give up. But I, I I think the West Side guy, I mean, apparently, I mean, West, West Side, Wings of Redemption, that's his name. Apparently, he's not someone who can't take any criticism. So this means he's double weak-minded. I mean, they're both weak-minded, but he's super weak-minded. He's so insecure. He can't deal with any criticism coming back at him, right? Words. So if he can't deal with any criticism and people... You know, talking a little bit of shit at all. He can't take any level of criticism constructively. And he's already this big. That means, what do you think happens when someone's punching you in the fucking face? That's the worst kind of criticism. That's the worst kind. Because you know what? Every single time you get hit, that's a critique on you and your defense. And that, that that's good. If you care about boxing at all, that's going to strike your nerve. When I get hit by somebody, somebody at all, but especially somebody who I think I shouldn't be getting hit by, I get a little bit pissed. I get a little bit pissed. And I'm like, you know what? Okay. I'm gonna get you back. I, get, I I take it personally. You know what I mean? Like that's that's you know like it's a it's a critique. I'm like okay, well I can't get hit with that anymore. But also at the same time, I gotta hit this nigga back, and I make sure I get my mind back. If I don't, I'm I'm pretty pissed about that round. You know. Um. So this guy, I he ain't me, unfortunately. Neither one of them are me. But I do think Wings of Redemption. He's gonna end up quitting on the stool. Maybe one of them pukes, but both of them are super out of shape. I think we're gonna get if no one quits. It's going to get to this point where they're just going to be sort of walking around, just doing nothing a lot, and it's going to suck. Um, and I think the adrenaline of the situation, combined with their heart failure problems, um, and just them being like so nervous, that's going to make them way more tired. And they're not going to know how to deal with that. And it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I'm actually really concerned for them. My prediction, Boogie... Second round via opponent heart attack. I don't fucking fucking know. Uh, heart problems. He has to be taken out on a stretcher. I really hope that's not the case. But I, I, just, I mean, quit on the stool at best. Quit on the, quit on the stool at best. What do y'all think is going to happen? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I'm out. Peace.